welcome back my friends may 29th 2021 12 22 p.m and we may be getting a little bit of relief down in the gulf states the southeast part of the center of the country where we've been getting completely slammed with just these bubbling huge monster storms we can see this last little cell here kind of swinging down into the gulf that's not the end of it. That's just kind of the higher altitude part of this storm that we can still see. You'll see it here towards the end of these frames. But I want to show you something kind of interesting we caught here. Now, I'm sure if you have heard of the term called pareidolia, when you kind of see faces in nature, whether it's clouds, flower, tree bark, anything really. But I've had yet another one of these situations pop up, and it's very interesting. But let me remind you of what happened May 7th. This happens to be where I caught one of the cooler faces I've ever seen. And right over Lake Michigan, we had this creepy face flow in, and it stayed there for about two or three frames. In fact, I made a quick little post of it and threw it onto Twitter, but nonetheless, we saw this face kind of rolling right into Lake Michigan. As you can see right here, it was all natural. I kind of just enhanced the picture, added a bit of shadow to it, as you can see, to bring out a couple highlights. But in fact, it was right there. And as you can see, this one did the same exact thing right over Texas. It's like this creepy face comes in anytime we're about to get or in the middle of severe weather. And I'm certainly not the only one to have seen stuff like this. You were looking at Hurricane Matthew back in October of 2016 take a look at this this looks like half of a skull and for good reason this storm was absolutely brutal and of course you mix that passion with weather and photography and art and you get someone like me who likes to do stuff like this so it's very interesting to me i know some of you don't really get into this type of thing but in many cases once i see it i can't unsee it as i'm sure a lot of you can't there are plenty of other things going on around the country and the world specifically let's check out the usgs we are at the national data buoy center and guess what my friends another random buoy has gone off without an earthquake many of these buoys are part of our dart system that help measure all different sorts of weather that includes waves wind speed anything you can basically think of these buoys are very advanced very high technology and they're out there for our safety and when these things go off a lot of people take notice including me a lot of watchers out there keep an eye on this all day and we can see there was a disruption a few hours ago nothing too super dramatic Dramatic, but nonetheless, this buoy is going off and it's on the northeast of the United States, as you can see right here. This is buoy number 44403. We had an issue up here a couple months ago where one of these buoys went off and we didn't know if it was a landslide or something like that. But when taking all the activity, especially this huge explosion we just had on the sun, suspicious observers put out a good video on this. This happened also just a few hours ago. Massive explosion. It's going to skim Earth, not so much a direct hit, but our seismic activity has been going through the roof lately. These are just today's earthquakes, all magnitudes, and they kind of focus on the United States. Also, it would not be right of me to not mention what's going on in Lake Tahoe. Check this out. Lake Tahoe is going through an earthquake swarm as we speak, started yesterday and continuing today. These are just the earthquakes that have taken place in the last hour or so when I click seven days, all magnitudes. Take a look at the swarm we're dealing with. The yellow ones were yesterday, orange are today, and that's about 20 to 30 little quakes going on. They might not be serious or dangerous individually, but what's going on under Lake Tahoe? Which reminds me of yet another stressful situation on the West Coast. We are entering fire season. As if we have a fire season, there's fires all the time. But it just seems like every time we move into summer, we have these excessive heat warnings. Then in Northern California, we have the actual fire warnings. And unfortunately, this is just the beginning. We are going to see these fires breaking more and more records. And not only that, but last year's fires are now going to affect the ground in different ways. When California and the West Coast finally do get that rain that they need, we're going to be dealing with landslides and mudslides. So unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with a huge mess that's really going to continue and peak at different points throughout the summer. I don't see this being one big fire. We're going to have multiple fires, multiple situations to deal with in the West. And not to throw a super wrench into that, but the East Coast, in my opinion, will be dealing with more hurricanes than usual. I was going to go ahead and extend this into the updated information about the Congo volcano, but I'm going to keep that for a separate video. There's just way too much going on in the world right now. But just as a quick update, this was a tweet 
posted a little while ago, apocalyptic scenes in eastern Congo as volcanic eruption triggers earthquakes and fears of lake methane explosions. Just to tie in to the seismic activity, the pressure releases of volcanoes and earthquakes, Lake Tahoe, they're talking about a lake of methane in what's already a destroyed area of the Congo. Just a horrible, horrible situation. So the global occurrences going on are just so many, it's hard to even cover. I will do everything in my power to keep you guys posted and not veer off track. I do have attention problems. It's very hard for me to stick to a topic. I'm always bouncing around, but you know what? I'd rather have that active mind than one that doesn't work too well, so I'm not complaining. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video and taking the time to comment and or like the video if you do enjoy this work. I have a small message for you at the end of this video. Shout out to Canada. I hope everyone's having an amazing Memorial Day weekend. You know, it's all about the mindset, my friends. Try to stay positive up in that brain. Easier said than done, I'm sure. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back later on or tomorrow morning. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.